Welcome to the She Is Podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Jamie. I'm Sherry. I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Hi and welcome back. We are going to jump in to part two of our conversation with Nicole about She is a Warrior. I was supposed to kind of go through the different ways we can hear God. Ooh, and, yes. Um, so... Havila Cunnington is an awesome teacher. Yes, She's amazing. I love her. Yeah. And so I found this teaching that she did, and it's called um, Prophetic Personalities. Ooh. And I thought it was really cool, just like how she broke it down. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just want to do that really quick. I'm not going to go into everything, but we'll, I'll have the link to her teaching in the show notes if you guys oh. want to check out the whole thing. Oh, that's so good. Um, but she breaks it down into four different quote unquote personalities. Um, so first off there are knowers and most everyone will fit into at least one of these categories. And Mm. so when you hear yours, you can be like, Oh, like, I guess that's my prophetic personality. Because anyways, because there could be, there could be a part of us or even a a great portion of people that don't realize they Mm -hmm. have that or yeah. can have that, and yet right. they do it and not realize that's what they're doing. Yeah, right? it's like you've been hearing the voice of God this right. whole time, and you're like, oh, I just thought that was my own thought. Right, or I, know? I just know to do this, yeah. but I didn't, I, that's just something, what I, I've just always done that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's a it's a gift yeah. that they've been walking in, and they don't even know that they've been walking in that. So yeah. I love that you're going to break that down, because you're right, everybody will fall into at least one. Yeah. Yeah, and you can be bilingual, too. (laughs) So, knowers, they don't necessarily know why they know something. They just know. Mm -hmm. So you just have this sense of, um, we're supposed to go here. I don't know why. I don't have anything to prove it, but I just know this is where we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And Havila describes it as, like, they're the light bulbs. They're just like, oh, all of a sudden, they just know what to do. Um, So that's... Uh, spiritual intuition that is the gift of wisdom from the Lord oh. I believe and um, so there's like I said there's like no dir- direct evidence it's just you just know you just know by mm-hmm. a sense mm-hmm. um, so that's the knowers and then the seers they're the eyes in the room they're the visionaries and a lot of times God speaks to them in pictures in visions dreams Mm -hmm. Um, things like that. So they can see what's going on in the room around them. Okay. Um, and, um, so then there is our hearers. You hear the voice of the Lord. You hear, um, like through your thoughts, like this is what the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. Um, the hearers kind of get a play-by-play of what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) So they're the writers, they're the journalers, um, you just have a sense of knowing what God is saying. And then the feelers are the last ones. Mm. And they just have a distinct sense of God's emotions. Mm. Um, and and sometimes you can just walk into a room and experience what other people are feeling mm. um, and what they're going through. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times they are the intercessors. Mm. And we are all, you know, called to be intercessors. Yeah. But... Yeah. Um, some people, you know, they have that gift of intercession on their lives. Um, so I feel like I really connect with the seer one. Um, God speaks to me a lot in through pictures, um, basically. And then my other one would probably be feeling. Um, I feel like I pick up a lot on what other people are going through and mm. what they're feeling. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Which one of those spoke to you guys? I'm going to call you out. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know. I, I would probably be somewhere with, like, feelers. What was the first one? Knowers. Knowers. Some, yeah, yeah kind of stuff you can't really put your finger on necessarily. Mm, you just know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and that. I think at some point we've all done all of yeah, those. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Because the Bible says that, and we know for a fact mm-hmm. that, 
especially in the Old Testament, the Lord gave ability for that moment. It's not like they received a gift and then had it the rest of their life. They had it for that moment. And I fully believe that at some point we've been used or had the ability or the sense of each one of these, depending on, I mean, you know, most women are knowers. Yeah. Most women are knowers. You, you you know, I mean, and we've talked about this before, that mm-hmm. you can be in a store and all of a sudden all the women are looking around and you know something's up. Some, something feels, oh. something's, <laughs> yeah. Stirring. And so, yeah. I, and so I think we all do these. Mm-hmm. Um, he, I have seen. Mm-hmm. I don't always see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I know for a fact I have. I'm more a knower mm-hmm. and a hearer, um, but I know I have seen, yeah. and and yeah. like you've said, there's I, I was like, um, am I just sleepy? <laughs> you know, because it when you don't, when that's not something that you've gotten accustomed to. Mm-hmm. It it made me go, and I, and I looked at Doug. Did you just see that? And he's like, "What do you mean?" Well, I just saw, mm. and he's he said, "I I didn't see anything, <laughs> but I've got bumps thinking mm-hmm. about it again." Um, yeah. And so I, for me at that moment, it's like I was doing all of those. Mm-hmm. We we were in a worship service at church, and I could see this angel come down. Um, on one of the singers, and and just moments later, you could see her her change, her um, the way she was standing, the way her facial expression, her her countenance completely changed, mm-hmm. and I could tell the Lord was spe- was spending time with her, speaking something over her, or maybe maybe the Lord had sent that angel to sing over her at that moment, and. And it wasn't long, and she started crying, and then she started trembling, and then she slowly went to her knees and just cried. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't see it again. But I, for me, I know, I, I think the Lord allowed me to see the reaction mm-hmm. to what I was seeing mm-hmm. so that to, like, I would validate. Under- yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. Was that real? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think we, yeah, we got to be careful with that and utilize discernment too and partner yes. with Holy Spirit and yeah. all these things because, yeah. you know, if you separate yourself from from the Holy Spirit and mm-hmm. you get a feeling or an idea mm-hmm. and just run with it, but that yeah. wasn't God, you yeah. know, you, you could be thinking you're doing, you know, running in the right direction and that's mm-hmm. not where he was headed. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. With with everything, just yes. using wisdom and discernment, and always always mm-hmm. partnering because mm-hmm. we are we're not meant to be apart from Him. This no. is mm-hmm. yeah, this is an abide in Him kind of thing. Yes, yes. So, we yeah. can't do it without Him. Yeah, no. It He's using us as a vessel to do that. Yeah. It's not it's not us doing that. Right. And if at any point we think we're doing that, or we give ourselves a title of Mm-hmm. Um. Then there's going to be consequence of that. Well, and, and also, yeah. like what Nicole said, is like a lot of what you get from the Lord, mm-hmm. you don't you don't have to say it no. out loud to right. a person because. Right. Um, and I know this isn't from the Bible, but it's from <laughs> it's from the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> oh, oh where it's it's book. Book. <laughs> and I don't remember which one, but basically where where. Someone's asking Aslan, you know, about the sins of someone else, and he's basically yes. like, "That is mm-hmm. not. That's not for you to know about, mm-hmm. because he he cares about your dignity, yes. and he's not just going to call out your sin to somebody else right. to shame you. Right? Yeah. That's because yeah. that's not his heart. No. And so, yeah, yeah, there are things that you can know simply just to pray. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, always just yeah, being be. 
be in step with the spirit. Cause See, yeah. when I first started <laughs> attending church, this lady came to me and she said, she, she was basically slapping me with her words mm-hmm. that I had n- done something wrong. I had, I had misbehaved in church. My reaction was not proper, apparently. And I was still new. I didn't know. I was still learning. And, but I didn't think I had done anything wrong. I, others were doing it, too. I, I was, uh, okay. And, and so I said, well, I don't understand. I thought I was doing what they were doing. What part of it was wrong? And, and her words were, she said, my gift is of correction. And my first and and my and I know because no. my husband grabbed my arm and went shh because he could see on my face talk about countenance change and I thought wait a minute I'm not that new that is not a gift of the Let spirit. Let me correct you not. real quick lady. <laughs> yeah. So uh, but surprisingly even then because I'm a different person there's still days that I but I Doug was like I'm proud of you because I didn't say anything I just smiled and said thank you but I think I'll I think I'm done with this conversation and I moved over um because I knew Mm -hmm. that that can't be and so right we have to be very careful Mm -hmm. um because I am, you know, and knower, seer, are these words that the Lord uses? I don't know, but how else do we know to describe mm-hmm. what we're doing, yeah. what we're feeling, what we're hearing, mm-hmm. what we what we know? What? How do we? Well, it's a way in which to those gifts mm-hmm. are manifested in you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's going to be different mm-hmm. for everybody mm-hmm. yeah. and we and, and I think that as long as we're sweet and gentle in that mm-hmm. and and I I don't ever go to someone and say the Lord said yeah. I always go and say you know what this is what I'm feeling and I could be totally wrong this is what I feel and then I tell them what either I saw or I heard or what I felt and then and then I always say, does that connect with you at all? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and many times I've heard, you know, it, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. That none of that matches, none of that sounds like familiar, anything to me. And, and I need to be gracious and humble and say, oh, okay, maybe I got that wrong. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. Thank you for listening yep. to me. And then I go about my way, and I used to feel bad about that. But then later on, then I, I was like, oh, you're just an idiot. You don't know what you're doing. But <laughs> but then days later, that person would come and say, you know what? Just two days later or later that day or whatever, it was confirmed. Mm-hmm. And so we, like you said, Nicole, we can't. We can't not do it just because we're going to not get it right. Mm -hmm. We still need to step out and do it, but we can't do it as thus saith the Lord. It's a, I think this is what I'm hearing. I think this is what I'm feeling. I think this is what the Lord is wanting to Mm -hmm. say Mm -hmm. because it's not me. And I could be wrong and that's okay too. Yeah. That's how you learn. Mm -hmm. Right. I've, I've, got stuff wrong lots of times Mm -hmm. and I've got where it was confirmed lots of times Mm -hmm. too but like you said you don't know until you step out Mm -hmm. and be obedient well and that I love the humility too to Mm -hmm. even ask um and I appreciate that like when people have spoken over me and sometimes they ask that and sometimes they don't Mm -hmm. and um I feel like it's it keeps uh the prophet humble, I guess, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? yes. because it's just yeah. like, I, I feel like every, every person who prophesies in that way really should be held accountable for mm-hmm. their words, mm-hmm. but yes. also kind of listen to the person mm-hmm. and hear how it's received. Mm-hmm. Um, because I mean, well, first of all, your delivery maybe maybe <laughs> right. you did get a correct word, right. but the way you delivered it was incorrect. Mm-hmm. Right. 
right. you know, these are all things. That if you don't use that muscle very often, it's <laughs> right. it's going to be awkward. <laughs> so, so practice. More. Yeah, so practice. <laughs> and also, good. yeah, take the pressure off yourself. Um, because, yeah, speaking for the Lord is a, it's pretty serious business. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so acknowledge, you know, this, I feel this from the Lord. But Mm -hmm. let me know if that speaks to you, Mm -hmm. if Mm -hmm. it means anything Mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps them to think about it. Right. Because sometimes those words can come and go so quickly, and then they're just like, what just happened? (laughs) You know? Um, So I I believe even just that question causes them to pause and and think about it. It, It's good for everybody. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. I I like that. Mm -hmm. The main objective is love. Yes. Yes. Main objective is love. Loving Jesus and loving others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Jesus always has something good to say. Yes. So Well and that's the whole the whole thing behind, you know, why why does he want to encourage somebody? <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. Why right. why would he heal somebody? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it it's all about love. Yeah. Yes. But it's and the ultimate is that they would know him yes. and trust him and mm-hmm. love him back. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what the healing is for, too, is it points to Jesus. Yes. It's the kindness of the Lord that brings people to salvation. And mm-hmm. um, that's why I said it. it's not about bragging rights. It's about people. <laughs> it's it's yes. about loving people. So. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Nicole. Yes. Um, I I was just thinking about this scripture from 1 Peter 4.10. It says, Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, mm-hmm. faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. Mm-hmm. Um, so I love that. I mean, even when it comes to having a prophetic word, for mm-hmm. for someone, um, like you said earlier about using your own gift to let the Lord speak to the person in that special way, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I really like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, and also I I I want to think about this um, just as we move on. I like how you shared about how God. Um, listen to your prayer like when you were a little yes. girl and you you were seeing what you weren't ready for mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. and he listened to you about that mm-hmm. but then um after gaining some maturity um you you entered into a place where you felt comfortable enough to ask for that yes. back yeah um that you had you felt like you had reached a point where that would actually mean something and make some kind of a difference. Yeah. And and he listened. And I, <laughs> I really like that. And so yeah, I guess that's that's I have a lot of takeaways from tonight, mm, but I know you <laughs> too. Yeah. Um well did you want to share anything, Sherry? Well just the tenderness. Um, you know, over and over I, one of the very first things I was told was God is a gentleman. He never pushes his way in. He never assumes. He, he, he's not like us, that we just barge in, this is what's best for you, or this is... He doesn't ever do that. He's a gentleman. He, yeah. He's gentle. He's tender. He waits. And, and he watches us. There's many things that we we learn and grow in in him at the right moment yeah. and over and over i thought to myself wow I'm, a couple months ago i wouldn't have even thought about that you know but that's because he knows us so well and he cares about us so much mm-hmm. that he would never want to harm us mm-hmm. so he's very gentle and and careful the way he does all of that he would never, just like that, he's never going to go, well, Nicole, grow up. This is what I have for you. He's right. going to go, okay, okay, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. yes, we can we can put a hold on that for now. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to wait until you're ready again. Yeah. And he may see it in you before you do and give you a little nudge maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, remember we talked about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's not going to make us do anything that we're not prepared for because he's a gentleman. He loves us. 
so much that he's never going to do anything that's going to cause harm or hurt. He just won't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think we can all uh, know something about God's <laughs> character in living in this earth is that he's he's a really patient guy. Yes. Like, yes. He can yes. wait for a long time. Because, yes. you know, if, we, if you've read the Bible a little bit or all of it, <laughs> he, he can wait for a long, long time, time to to complete what yes. he started. Mm-hmm. And we're all, we all get the privilege of being a part of that story, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. pretty fantastic. Yes. So, so good. Yeah, so... What are you going to do with that? (laughs) So, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nicole, for sharing. And, um, yeah, helping us all to uh, dig a little bit deeper into the things of the Lord. And, yeah, let us all be just encouraged to... um, to grow and to step out and be brave. And, and, yeah, do things that... That scared us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. In, in the, um, the spirit of loving people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. showing them the love of Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you all for tuning in to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We pray that you've been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have an, a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and to grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. And we want to hear from you. So you can email us at sheispodcast at refugecity.church. And you can uh, let us know um, what you want to hear about in future podcasts, um, ask us questions, Mm -hmm. any kind of feedback. We we want to hear it. Uh, So be sure to subscribe to this podcast so you can hear more from us every week. Uh, Thanks again for tuning in. And remember, until next time, you are a warrior. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha.